say quickly, anything you want to say to any of your fans? Ah, uh, fans, we did it. Ah, uh, get some beers, get some whatever, <laughs> and start celebrating. We're the Stanley Cup champions. Washington <laughs> Capitals, baby. Woo! Спасибо. <laughs> Пожалуйста. It's only a game. Why you have to be mad? He's a good guy. He may be tired to live here and because here is a November month is a minus 32. Could you imagine? It's a eight months in eight months in a year of snow. Yeah, it's a hell of a place to live. Yeah. It's a good point. That's probably why Hold on, hold on, I'm not speaking. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Here's like a North, North Pole. No, no, no. <laughs> you have the whole Canadian <laughs> country <laughs> mad now. Merci, Joe. All right, thanks, guys. Merci beaucoup. Uh, last one, Joe. Uh, <laughs> no, that's all right. No, no, don't worry about it. It's not important. No, yeah, no, go, ahead. Okay. go ahead. I'm good. I'm good. I got nowhere to be. No, the sound's so, my sound's so bad. Your sound's fine. Yeah, you're, it's okay. I can ask now. tomorrow. It's fine now your sound if you want. Okay. Yeah. Let's see, Joe. <laughs> um, based on what you've seen in the club in the two games since Dom. Okay. No, no, go, 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 go. Based on those two games, what do you got? <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the changes that you guys. All right. Well, well, John, I'll, sorry for I'll, that, but uh, that be again. we don't hear you well, John. Merci, Joe. All right, thanks. On vous revient avec uh, le coach. One of their guys have taken a third man in. I'm not going to answer any questions from you. You're not? No. Oh, good. Yeah. I'll speculate. You speculate and be as, be as sarcastic as you I can will. be, as you usually oh, I are. I will. Go right ahead. Good. Did, uh, should one of you guys have taken a third man in? I said I'm not taking your an answering any of your questions. No. Have you ever fought before? Yeah. You have? Yeah. Why? Are you challenging me now? No, no, I'm not okay. challenging you. Okay. You know, red, red and... Redden sticks up for his teammates the other night. Yeah. And you come come out with some sarcastic article. It was funny. It was funny. Yeah. Well, you know what? You were probably beat up in the bus stop most of the time. I think so, huh? <laughs> Next. Well, the late second period fun. goal. Even though you're second. a great representative of, of the city. You know that? Will you let these other right. just go stand okay. somewhere else? No. Would you please? No, I won't. I only shoot then score. Then if you score, then we'll come. What's the biggest threat that the Penguins have? You know, I'm not afraid of anything. I'm only afraid of bear, but bear in the forest. <laughs> the Pittsburgh, Ilya Brzezgalov has already given up a couple of goals. Yesterday he said to the media uh, in an interview, I'm not afraid of anything except the bear in the forest. And the Penguin fans definitely heard that one because we got a lot of bear <laughs> in the seats here. We got the Consol Energy Center. Perfect, perfect. I want you out of here. Nobody likes you, nobody respects you, just so you know, at least I'm leaving here with the respect of my teammates, instead of somebody like you that tries to bury somebody, that's all you do. It's not a critique, but I'm just telling you I don't want you here, I have no respect for you, I want you to get the out. I don't care. Well, I can tell you to get the out if I want to. Yeah, you do. Okay, guys. I want him out and the other clown, Brett, or whatever his name is. Where's he at? We're done, guys. We're done. I, everyone else is fine. No, we're done. We're done. You know, if you'd ask me politely, I might. Oh, well, politely? Why would I be polite with you? Are you kidding me? Stop. Oh, just leave. I just don't. I, we don't need. Grow up. <laughs> grow up. I just want you to leave. That's all. Well, I'll walk over here and see you. I just want you to leave. I don't want I to know see what? you. We're this. I'm not I, is it not my right? But I'm happy to know it's all over with and we can kind of move on. The summer can be a distraction if there's somebody asks for a trade request. <laughs> Did you lick the cone off? Thanks. Or was it a nuzzle or what was I it? I thought he wanted to cuddle. I was just trying to get close to him. Season. The Calgary Flames get out of Philadelphia and they board a train from Philadelphia to Washington, D.C., and they did so in style. Suggestions with the new organization. You're a difficult guy to coach. Is, is there any to that? Uh, I don't think so. You know, that's a weird question for you to ask, so on a day like that, um, you know, your coach is the best player on the team, and if the coach is 
You think it's my fault? Is that what you're saying? I'm saying you're is that what you're saying? saying that you're difficult to coach. Is that what you're saying? I'm okay. asking you a question. Are you difficult to coach, do you think? I don't think so. Okay. I play, hey? Thanks, Phil. This guy is such an idiot here. <laughs> He's always been like this here. <laughs> well, it's not the same stuff. Yeah. How many bad articles have you? I don't see any of these other guys disrespecting the players like you are. Yeah. You know, I've never seen someone disrespect players in this organization. Not me. Uh, for, I guess, just sit back and, you know, right off the hop, sit back and just watch what he's going to do and uh, and just feed off that and uh, just keep playing and doing my job. Have fun, Buffalo. All right, thank you. Dustin Buffalo. <laughs> One more question for Roberto. Were Roberto, the fans back in Vancouver cheered when you were pulled. Do you have any reaction to that? Next question. Why start now? Uh, it's a man. Now it's time. <laughs> Max, what did you think? <laughs> uh, I thought Fleur was pretty good. Thanks, Max. Awesome. It looked like you guys were never really threatened tonight. Is that the way you felt out there? I mean, 14 to 2 shots in the first period. <laughs> um, I think we played well. It was so when we got a goal, we came and we scored even more. So we kept the game for the whole game. I thought we played pretty good. Uh, you know, the guys kept kept scoring, and I just made the big saves. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tyson, everywhere you go, Leaf fans seems to show up. They're a passionate group. I just want to show you something here. This is a, a giant version of you. Is this disturbing? Is it complimentary? Is it flattering? How would you describe this? I've seen this uh, face before. It travels well. Uh, that girl's named Taylor. She's a big Avs fan. I think she's a Leafs fan now. So always good to see her on the glass. Johnny Gaudreau plays 500 games tonight at the NHL level. I'm just wondering... You know, mostly as a guy who's coached against him and now working with him, what uh, what have your kind of impressions been of the career he's made so far, and and then what are you looking to see out of him now at this point? Well, if you're just basing on his 500th game tonight, hopefully he has more energy than in his 499th game. Coach, that last sequence, they're jumping their defense into the cycle. They're jumping them into the rush. How are you going to make sure? <laughs> That's a great job by Reese. How are you going to make sure that your guys are aware of their defense? Yeah. Hello, everybody, from Pepsi Center in Denver, Colorado. Alongside Mike Vogel, I'm John Walton. And this two-man advantage presented by United Association. The second game of a five-game road trip for Barry Trotz and company tonight. By my count, I, I didn't see you the final seven minutes of the game. Were you surprised that... that the bench was shortened and you weren't part of the game after that? Um, yeah, we got scored on a couple times, but, um, you know, I think the first two, um, if you take out the one play where the puck was bouncing a little bit and couldn't get it out and they end up scoring, I thought it was playing good, but um, I guess I, th I thought wrong. Yeah. Short enough disrespect uh, over there, so we don't really care about what that bug eyed. Fat Walrus has to say. Bug-eyed? I've never been called that before. That's a new one. Walrus? Yeah, that's too easy. But I'll tell you one thing, I'm not fat. I'm very into to the universe, you know, like how it was created, you know, like what is it, you know, the solar system is so humongous big, right? But if you see the, like, our solar system and our galaxy and the, like on the side, you know, like it was so small, you can't even see it, our galaxy is like huge, but if you see the big picture, our galaxy is like a small, tiny like dot in the universe. Like, and you think like, and we have some problems here on the Earth we worry about compared to like nothing. Just be happy. Don't worry, be happy right now. You didn't know your elbow came up and hit him in the head? Are you asking me or are you telling me? No, I'm asking you. Yes. You're an expert? No, it was on the replay. So you're an expert? No, it was on the replay. That's so you the... saw it, you're saying yes. you saw it, it's on, you're an expert? Yes. You're not an expert, so we'll... No, I'm not an expert, I'm saying I saw it. I'm asking you, did you know you got your elbow up? You're telling me I got my elbow up? It was on the replay. You're an expert. You know it was up. That's it, guys, thank you. During the season that you spoke about that's going to be big during the playoffs was uh, Fedotenko because of his two tattoos. That's just, that, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Fedotenko, you said about the two You guys give me shit about it. 
they come back in, we can keep growing as a team. That's what we've always talked about with injuries. Whose phone is it? Especially the first couple. And um, scrimmage games are scrimmage games. Now you, you take your next step. That's going to be a major league fine, I tell you. I want to walk. I'll walk. If the cell phones go off, I'll walk. Um, yeah, they, they were good. They, they were really good. And um, they check well. And um, oh, that's you. No. <laughs> I won't do my John Tortorella. <laughs> It's a good thing. It's a good thing that we won it. Eh? <laughs> For the first time, we think in hockey history, or at least hockey television history, the analyst Ray Ferraro interviewing the son, Landon Ferraro. Well, this is strange. Um, was that your goal? Honestly, I have no idea. I just got real excited. Um, you know, we had a good four check and we got something coming out at the net and got on top of his pad and after that it just goes in and just put your hands up, someone's happy. So the first 40 minutes in a new organization, in a new system, in a kind of a crazy second period, where are you at? I mean, I'm getting comfortable at some points. Um, you know, a big part of it is just the little changes from Detroit to here, in the D zone, just making sure that you're doing the right thing and not being over aggressive. How Detroit likes a lot of pressure here, we want to protect. So, I mean, I get out of position a little bit, you just try and make, uh, make the quickest read you can and just go for it. Does it look strange to look down and see that? More in the morning, I caught myself in the glass a couple times, and I haven't worn black since uh, Bantam. So, it's been a little bit of a change, but no, it's been good so far. Don't be shy, go get another one. Sounds good. We're moving on. Character, bunch of guys. There's not a better group of guys that I want to do it with. Congratulations. We'll see you Saturday afternoon in Montreal for game one of the Eastern Conference Final, PK. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a better coach today, and I will be better prepared for the next opportunity. And I will still coach to play in June. And my daughter, Erin, said to me today that something about the players play, 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 and I'm going to shake shake it off and move forward. Any questions? That is not my daughter. <laughs> Do you think the actions of your team in the last 72 hours have just sort of changed the atmosphere around here a from, a, from a team? Wait a minute. Mom's calling on someone's car. <laughs> is that your phone? Yes. I didn't mean to blow you out of water, but it's you, a great your mother's question. calling. Any one of those guys, other than Hanny, Hanny's a winger, not a center, but says he can go to center or a wing. Uh, yeah, but I, I... Mrs. Reed? Mrs. Reed? Hi, this is John Tortorella. I'm in the middle of a press conference here, and you're... you're a, no, that's okay. I'd rather talk to you than your husband, I mean, your son, so... Um, I'll be done in about five. I've seen you call a few times, so it's, it's rude. Of, it's rude of yeah. He's rude of him not to call you back, but he's busy right now. It's nice talking to you. Okay, have a nice day. What? Two moving you. Would it be length of contract term? Uh, my contract sucks. <laughs> that's what that's what's the problem is and um, fortunately it's it's a big uh, it's a big uh, factor in, in trading me and uh, it's probably uh, why I'm still here um, I like Patrick's quote that he would have stopped me I just want to know just want to know where he was in game three <laughs> probably getting his jock out of the stands on the out of the Raptors United Center man. I can't really heard what Jeremy says because I got my two Stanley Cup rings Plug in my ear. Check had some choice words for the Philadelphia Inquirer's Mike Selsky, who has a history of criticizing Voracek. Jake, um, two games in, Jake, how different does the season feel, if at all, given the circumstances of the offseason and the condensed schedule and everything? Doesn't matter what I say, Mike. You're going to write fucking shit every time. It doesn't matter what you say. Uh, yeah, it feels different. I mean, we got four points out of the first two games. Uh, I, I wasn't even going to answer your question because you are such a weasel, it's not even funny. 
Next question. No, I'm frustrated. You were after uh, the game in Arizona. Frustrating again to uh, to get what you think is a early lead goal taken away like that. Yeah, it's gone to a different level. I don't know the rules anymore, or something's changed because uh, you know my understanding. Played a lot of hockey. That uh, I don't know. I mean. Uh, I think everybody has an interpretation of what's a good goal and what's a bad goal, but uh, I can't believe it. On your left. Champ, champ, Sydney, Scoops Callahan, the ticket in Dallas. All the joys are calling you uh, the golden boy at the new NHL. How do you like being the cat's meow of all things stick and puck? Um, I can't answer that one serious. But, uh, <laughs> no, I mean, there's a lot of attention for sure, but... Uh, you know, all I can hope is that uh, put on a good performance and um, first time here, so hopefully the people of Dallas are welcome. On the handshake line that you and Martin Brodeur did not exchange pleasantries afterward, did that surprise you? What did you think about that? Well, everyone talks about how classy, uh, unclassy I am, and Fatso there just forgot to shake my <laughs> hand, I guess. so. <laughs> did you Let's think see. by watching that again or by being there the first time that, it, that he had that in his mind from the start? Uh, I mean, I don't know. How's your breath? It's, it's not good, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant in terms of conditioning. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, it's fine. I mean, obviously, uh, it's a fast game out there, and, you know, you just catch your breath and go back at it. It's been fun watching. Keep having fun. <laughs> Great. Yeah. 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 Would you care to elaborate? Nope. Would you guys be here? without the way he's played, do you think? No. How you much look, energy can you guys play off of whenever he's making stops like that? A lot. Did, uh, did Tuka look dented to you? <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> but, I have short answers, Brad. Next. How good does it feel? Uh, it's been a while since you guys have been to the Panthers Finals. How good does it feel to do that? It's good. Where'd you get that outfit? China. Yeah. What was the difference for us being down 2-1 in the series to winning the last three? We won. When Tuca is part of the way he is, how much does that help you guys up the time? Yeah, what time? Do you uh, have a bet on how few words you're going to say in this? Maybe. <laughs> What's been able to separate the way you guys have played on the road in the playoffs? I don't know. Anybody say anything interesting to you in the handshake line? Is this one of the more solid professional wins that you've had in the postseason? Not really. But it's a good one. What do you think about Carolina? Pretty good. Will you be happy to get a lesson? Yes. Are you happy to not hear the cannon tonight? Yes. You feeling a little crispy tonight? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Why is that? Just because. Thanks, Thanks, because of the way you played. We know what we did. We know what we did. What, what did you do? Next question. What did you do? I mean, you know what you did. What did you think you did? Brooksy, if I want to explain it to you, I would. What's that? Johnny McLean? Yeah. You should ask him. Are you answering no questions or what? I guess that's what I'm saying, Brooksy. Okay. You get that through your head? I guess so. Yeah. I mean, it's time to waste the time. Oh, well, then get the fuck out of here then. I am. Okay, see ya. The Dallas Stars forward suspended indefinitely after he made the following comments, which some may find offensive, about a Calgary Flames player, Dion Phaneuf, who dates Avery's former girlfriend, actress Alicia Cuthbert. And I just wanted to comment on how it's become like a common thing in the NHL for guys to fall in love with my sloppy seconds. I don't know what that's about, but enjoy the game tonight. Scott. Thank you, Jim. Yes, thousands take the uh, Washington subway to work every day, and here's the king in the metro system. All those people who take it to work don't have a Stanley Cup, but you do. Tell me what you're thinking. Oh, we all have it now. <laughs> oh, man, I don't know. It's, it's just, I don't, it's hard to describe. Uh, besides the, my wedding day and my, birth of my two girls this is this is the most amazing most amazing feeling I've ever had TJ let's just talk for a second about life's turns in 2002 you moved to War Road your father's hometown um, you led War Road to two state high school hockey championships UND after that and now you're a Stanley Cup champion where's your father Tim figuring this win tonight 
Oh, you're making me cry really now. My dad's here in the crowd. Uh, he is uh, he's diagnosed with Alzheimer's, and he doesn't uh, he doesn't remember a lot of stuff, but you bet your ass he's gonna remember this one. All right, uh, I guess the last question would be. Sorry. Brooks Orprick told Brian McClellan, the general manager of the Capitals, that of all the free agents the Caps had last offseason, you were the most important one to sign. And he had a point. How does it feel to reward the faith of the Capitals with the Stanley Cup tonight? You know, it, it feels good, but it, it was so much more than, than just me or just what I did on the ice. Uh, I've never seen a team come together like we did here. And I've been on some really good teams, some really close teams, some teams that I'm, I'm still really good friends with, but uh, I've never seen the commitment from start to finish like we had here. So, you know, I, I really thank Brooks for what he said. And uh, I told Mac that I thought we could win and we could win a couple before we sign. And uh, it just feels so great to do it with this, this great group of guys. Nice when a plan comes together. Thanks for your time. Congratulations. Sorry. Thanks. Uh, Jerry, congrats on the uh, win. What a relief this team must be feeling now. How sweet. How sweet. <laughs> that the cat's got your tongue. Tell me about seeing your teammates come out there with the kind of playoff style intensity that, that you guys have to bring. <laughs> Can I try? Upper body injury, uh, laryngitis. <laughs> that really doesn't work well for radio. TV, maybe. For TV, it's great. Uh, plays of the week for us, that's fine. <laughs> no, we, we play, they play great. <laughs> the guys play great. Uh, how do you feel? Um, I'm not going to really get into that. I just stuck around because I just want to say what a piece of shit I think Luke should get 50 pounds on me and runs me like that. It's unbelievable. Everyone in the city sees him as a big, tough, solid player. I respected him for how hard he played. That was gutless. Gutless. Piece of shit. What do you like about Max Talbot game and why is it helping your game? First, it's I'm see how I play Max. It's lots of emotion. It's never stop. It's skate. Yeah, a little bit bad hands. That's <laughs> <laughs> he, he have lot of scoring chance, not score. <laughs> <laughs> Just empty net. <laughs> it's okay. He learned summer. <laughs> no, I like play with him. It's lots of emotions, skate, and he play all game, not stop. Here with Ryan Kessler, the Vancouver Canucks. Ryan, talk to me about the atmosphere in that barn out there tonight. What was it like playing in front of this crowd in Los Angeles? Well, it was awesome. You know, for me, I'm an I'm American guy, and uh, growing up in Michigan, I I love playing in the states. So uh, I got a lot of family and friends here, and I, you know, I won an Olympic medal for this country. Uh, I brought them a silver medal. So. Um, you know, I usually get some ovations here. Now you're going to be heading back to Vancouver for Game 5. The crowd up there, you know how people in Vancouver are. They're nuts about their hockey. They're insane about their hockey. If you guys lose in Game 5 on that ice, how are you going to be able to walk around the streets of Vancouver? Yeah, but you know what? I'm, like I said, I'm an American and I like playing in the States. So, um, you know, the, the, the fans in Canada are great, but, you know, this is where the real hockey fans are in my opinion. So. Uh, I love the States, and uh, this will always be home for me. Now, the momentum, that's a big thing. Do you guys have the momentum back after winning this game now tonight, game four? Well, you know, like I said, the, the crowd was great here tonight. Uh, I can't say enough about playing in the States, and uh, it was a big win for us, and we're going to feed off this. We'll go back to Canada. I'm sure the crowd won't be as good there, but hopefully we can get back to here and where the real crowd is. Like I said, growing up in Michigan, uh, I love the States. How do you feel about Ohio State? Love the Buckeyes, yeah. Um, you know, the Bowling Green Falcons, I, I felt always kind of took it to us, but uh, you know, in Ohio State, we're we're a good club. Um, you know, we're definitely top three schools in Ohio. You were 0 for 14 on the power play heading into this game. What was different about the power play tonight? Well, my my traffic in front of the net, I think, was huge. Uh, I planted myself in front of Quick, and uh, I don't think he could see a lot of pucks. So uh, the Twins were moving the puck around well, and. Uh, 
I was doing my job in front of the net, and, and then we got some goals. Hockey's big with nicknames. What's your nickname? Is it Kess? Is it Kesser? Is it, what, what's your nickname, Ryan? Guzzler. Guzzler? Guzzler. Okay, well, Guzzler. A lot of the players on the LA Kings say that you're the dirtiest player on the Vancouver Canucks. What do you say to that? Well, I play hard out there. You know, me and Brownie, we play together in the Olympics. So, uh, you know, he knows how I play. I play hard, and um, I'm hoping guys respect that around the league. Who's a bigger gong show, Dustin Brown or Jonathan Quick? Uh, I don't know. Two, you know, two Olympic teammates of mine, and uh, I know we had some good times. That's all I can say is we had some really good times at the Olympics. Game five in Vancouver. How are you going to get it done? I'm going to plant myself in front of the net again, and uh, we're going to get some shots on net. I'm probably going to bat in a few rebounds, and uh, that's what we're going to have to do in this guy is get some dirty ones. Cass, you're a beauty. Thanks very much, man. Thank you. Always a pleasure. God bless America.